Hello everyone, our Crisis Communication Group Count Virginia, Ola Kami, and myself, Kara. Welcome to our presentation for Domino's 2009 crisis. I will first talk about the crisis, the problems, and the critical factors bearing with those problems. Virginia will then talk about the possible solutions and our recommended solutions. And Olakemi will finish by telling us the actions required for those solutions and a distribution strategy for a press release. Domino's faced a crisis back in 2009. On April 12th of that year, two of their employees filmed themselves contaminating people's food before they go out for delivery. Those videos were uploaded on YouTube and shortly after, three days after, those videos went viral. The problems bearing with the crisis are first of all, the day after the incident, Domino's' spokesperson, Team McIntyre, said that they were not going to comment on the incident because they were expecting it to quiet down. But the crisis was effectively a reflection of consumers' worst nightmares because people don't expect restaurant to have employees contaminating their food, which affected the perception of, of the company's brand overnight. The critical factors to this crisis are, first of all, the crisis reflects anyone's worst nightmares because no one expects such a trusted brand to find their employees contaminating food. And second of all, the slow action from the company's part actually threw gasoline into the fire. They waited way too long to provide an answer of some sort to their customers. And the offending video went viral before it was taken down, which had already caused some serious damage to the brand. Hello, my name is Virginia Williams, and I'll be discussing our solutions. So first, what Domino's did, they investigated. So once they were notified about the video, Domino's captured the footage and began to track down the culprits. Then they addressed the situation. So after finding out who the individuals were, Domino's contacted the local store owner, health department, and local police. This results in termination of employment and inspection of the store and federal charges being filed. Communication. Domino's created a Twitter account to communicate with its customers and to inform that they are aware of the situation and they're resolving it. They also notified staff members, Domino's YouTube audience, the CEO, and the Consumer Affairs blog. Respond. Domino's President Patrick Doyle uses a YouTube video to educate customers on the issue and how they have resolved it. They also put this response on the company website and they continue to utilize the social platforms such as Twitter and Facebook in order to stay in contact with their target audience. Power Solutions Acknowledge once notified about the video, we would have immediately acknowledged the situation. This way to inform our audience that we are aware of the situation and that we are working to rectify the issue. This is important because we want to do it in a timely manner to avoid escalating the situation even more. Um, we would also have notified our staff members to ensure that they know what's going on. Monitor and investigate. While our crisis management team is investigating, we would have continued to monitor the social platforms to ensure that we are communicating with our customers and de-escalating the situation as much as possible. We would also have looked into the employees who posted the videos, which location it was, and if the food was in fact delivered. After we would have done that, we would have addressed the situation. After finding out who the culprits were, we would have contacted the local store, the owner, health department, and local police. We would also have contacted our staff members and social media audience, this way to ensure that we are handling the crisis. Communicate. At this point, we would have prepared a formal response from our company president. This will be placed on various social media outlets and our company website and media platforms. We would also have responded. Um, we would have released our video response on social media, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and Domino's.com. And we also would have done a press release to convey our message to our national audience, this way to ensure that users who were not 
on digital platforms are able to access this information as well. Hello, my name is Olakemi Koja and I'll be going over the reasons for the recommended solutions, the action required to implement the recommended solutions, as well as the distribution strategy. It is important for organizations to know how to communicate with stakeholders on social media as a crisis unfolds because their communication or lack thereof in the midst of a crisis can affect their reputation. Our solutions are based on research we conducted to gain an an understanding of how stakeholders expect an organization to communicate with them during a crisis. The research findings show that stakeholders expect organizations to provide updates proactively and reply to their messages in a timely manner. They also expect organizations to be honest, take responsibility for the crisis, show understanding towards the affected stakeholders, be authentic, and avoid deleting unfavorable messages to the organization. Our recommended solution plan is based on these findings and to ensure that in an event of another crisis, Domino's effectively communicates with its stakeholders to minimize damage to its brand. In order to implement our recommended solutions, there are specific steps that the company will need to take. The first one will be to monitor the brand online through Google Alerts. Creating a Google Alert for company keywords will ensure that the company is staying on top of discussions related to the brand online. This is important because it will help the company quickly acknowledge what they're trending for, whether it's positive or negative. Acknowledging positive topics they're trending for will help boost their brand image and acknowledging negative topics they're trending for will show their stakeholders that they're being proactive about addressing the issue. This is something, as previously mentioned, that stakeholders expect from an organization when there is a crisis. Therefore, monitoring the company's brand through Google Alerts is something that will help Domino's efficiently manage future crises by making sure that they're catching, acknowledging, and addressing the crisis in a timely manner. Another step Domino's will have to take to implement our recommended solutions is release weekly press releases as needed throughout the crisis management process. As mentioned before, stakeholders like to be kept in the loop of what's going on, and one of the things Domino's did not do efficiently in their approach was release a public statement in a timely manner. In responding to this crisis, the company created a Twitter account and communicated with its stakeholders regarding how the, how the crisis was handled after it had been handled. Our approach would have been different as we would recommend they keep their stakeholders informed and updated throughout the entire process. Domino's president also released a YouTube video expressing how the crisis had been handled. But again, there should have been a video early on communicating with stakeholders what was being done. The main thing is to release a first press release quickly after the crisis begins to acknowledge it and let stakeholders know that it's being addressed. And depending on how long it takes to completely resolve the crisis, provide weekly updates to stakeholders to address the following. Updates on the investigation, updates on what has been discovered as a result of the investigation and how the company is addressing these findings, and lastly, a press release to announce that the, solution, the situation has been resolved and share with stakeholders how the company is moving forward from the crisis and what new practices are being implemented in the company as a result of this experience. The press releases will be distributed on various channels, including Twitter, YouTube, newspapers, the Consumer's Consumer Affairs blog, and Domino's website. Since Twitter only allows 140 characters per tweet, a short message will be released on that platform for each press release in addition to links to other platforms while stakeholders can have access to a more in-depth message from the company. YouTube will be used for the video press releases where the president of Domino's will address stakeholders and a standard press release will be used for the newspapers, the Consumer's Consumer Affairs blog, and Domino's website. As previously mentioned, it is vital in the management of the crisis to release the first press release quickly after the crisis begins to acknowledge it and let stakeholders know that it is being addressed and provide frequent updates to stakeholders as the crisis is being managed.